Hey there, I thought I'd just give you a really quick walkthrough of Light Track. When you start it up, you basically get a visual of where you currently are. The blue line right there is the angle at sunset, the yellow line at sunrise. It's hard to see, but there's a uh, red line in there. I'll jump over to the map view, clears it up just a little bit. And this red line is currently very faded because it's already past sunset. You can see it's brighter um, when the sun is up, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then sunset was just around 7.30, and then it's evening. A lot of the really good shots are just after the sun goes down. Uh, you get really nice light when you do slightly longer exposures with that. Uh, some of the basic features you can see uh, you have your current time if you ever want to change the date you can simply select a new date you got your month day and year one thing I'll quickly point out if you jump ahead say three months till December one thing you'll notice suddenly the day much shorter sunrise to sunset notice where the yellow and the blue lines go Go back today, much longer, we're far more than 12 hours still today. Uh, the other thing you've noticed is you can jump between map and satellite image. Uh, right there, it uses the same Google Maps that everything else does. I'll jump back to the map. You can also jump between the sun and the moon. And there's the moonrise and moonset. And currently, if it wasn't pouring rain outside, I'd be able to see the moon coming from this angle right here. Uh, let me just quickly jump this into uh, unlock my iPad. If you go in portrait mode, you get quite a bit more information up here about the current status of the moon and the sun, sunrise, sunset, and the given calendar dates for things. And I'll try to jump back over here really quick and get that back into place there. Uh, the other thing you can, if I plan to take a trip to the White House, I could do a search for something such as the White House. I'm not sure of the actual address, but I'll try this and see how it goes. And it's recentering, and it's actually got the White House. Not sure if that's clear enough on the video, but hopefully uh, you can see that. Uh, Washington, D.C., of course, is always great if you're going to go to maybe the reflecting pool and want to get the sunset or the sunrise coming right across the reflecting pool right there. You definitely wouldn't be able to do that on this. Oh, let me jump back to the sun. Okay, there's the sun. And so you can sort of see uh, when, the, when it's about 6.40 in the evening, the sun will be coming directly over the reflecting pool, and then a little bit later, uh, slightly off. If you want the sunset directly um, on there at a certain time, we might have to jump back or jump ahead a month. Let's see how that does. A little bit too much. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm nothing like doing this live on the fly. And you can see there the, uh, the light blue line is more or less straight right here around uh, September. September 23rd, right at sunset, it will come right on in across the reflecting pool uh, at 7 p.m. So if you happen to be taking a trip, that would be a good time to get a shot. Uh, another thing you can easily look at, we'll jump back to today by clicking on the little button right there. If you're coming to the White House and you're looking in the middle of the daytime where the light will be coming, uh, it'll be coming f from this direction, 
So if you're back here, the sun would be behind you, so that wouldn't be a great uh, shot if you wanted to get good clarity. But you can see how you can easily find where the sun and the moon will be at any given time, at any location you happen to search for, and that's uh, really, really, really nice uh, when you're out on the road and want to scout a situation before you get there. Hope that helps you out a bit. Uh, and while I'm here, I think I will save this spot, last thing, White House, and so in future reference I'll be able to save that for myself. And so now under my locations, I have my current location and I have White House to store. And I'll jump back to my house, and there I am, or jump back to the White House. So very convenient for scouting locations, uh, worth a shot if you are interested in the sun and the moon. Thanks for listening.